All right, everybody. Here we are, some 93% complete in this Chevy Corvette C6R GT2 Limited Series. Uh, you know what that means? Just one final tier to go to collect the final rewards of 2,000 victory points and 15 gold and 100,000 racing dollars since I already own my car. Not only that, mine's you know, fully upgraded. So skipping cost is 115 gold uh, for those who missed my overview video, uh, which I will have the link to the video in the description box below here. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, there I covered the cost associated with this limited series if you don't own the car um, and what kind of uh, events to expect. Of course, at this point, I posted all my playthrough of all fifth, uh, 14 prior tiers up to this point. So you can check out the actual playlist. Uh, of this limited series if you guys want to know the details but anyway for this video we'll actually see if we can make some uh, uh do some racing here and complete yet another limited series that was featured in the round eight yes <laughs> i am finishing this after round eight has expired by the way because if you already own this car the series is kind of unlocked you know uh as long as you play the game or for for the foreseeable future they are all available uh, i don't know if they're ever gonna you know on uh lock it up again but if you own the car it seems like you know there's no point in uh denying access from players you know what i mean all right so event number one is gonna be elimination uh, taking place at Laguna Seca under the California sun. All right. And yes, with the fully upgraded car, the event should be a breeze. There we go. 20 seconds to get out of the last place. we do like a yeah let's do like a one place advance per 20 seconds we've had uh, goals like that in special events makes the you know these events a little more interesting add a little bit more spice to it you know all right Two opponents down. Oh, the f the first three are kind of getting away, and that's of course part that makes this uh, way of doing the elimination a little bit more exciting. Now I gotta catch up, but you know I do have like closer to 40 seconds to do that. Since this elimination and as long as I get up to the P3 before the next 20 seconds or so, you know, I'm good, as done just now. <laughs> Alright, and uh, yeah, the front of the grid is always a bit more exciting. Outside, there we go. Heat has been eliminated. I can use that. Uh, boy, recently it's been super hot. So yes, I would appreciate if the heat has been eliminated <laughs> for the time being. Alright, and that gives us one final opponent, Cranger. One-on-one. -on -one. Head to head for 20 second survival and that is a win right on I thought I did a relatively clean race of course off track race um, penalty applies to even if you have one wheel off 
uh, tarmac. I know that seems kind of unfair, but uh, I mean, it's just racing dollars and it's all bonus. So it doesn't really matter as much, right? I mean, I feel like most of us have access racing dollars we don't know what to do with anyway. So, all right. That is good enough for the gold trophy number 43 of 45 available in this series. So let's head on over to Speed Snap at Daytona Motorcycle Course. And typically these sort of the variety events uh, at Daytona tend to run a little bit longer. This one might be the one that runs a little bit shorter, right? Yeah, this is like the once you first turn into the interior sector of the circuit, it's uh, essentially after the next big corner. All right. So we'll swing wide to allow us that extra uh, distance that we can cover for maximum speed. Although 203, I should be hit it without much struggle at all <laughs> with the fully upgraded car once again. 211 as I was just kind of strolling through the finish line, right? All right, so that is good enough for that. The second to last gold trophy. What is it now? Like 97% complete. There we go. Still will cost you 95 gold if you wanted to skip. So don't do that. All right, final cup PR 74.1, which will cost you 326 gold to uh, purchase enough upgrades to meet that PR. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be at Berlin Formula E circuit. Five laps, so here we go. All right, looks like a full grid of 22 cars in this uh, kind of tight space, right? The street circuits, tightly packed. And of course, corners and chicanes even tighter. Maybe except for the very first one, where the bit of a space on the outside, generally. Like, uh, yeah, this is uh, about as much space you can expect to see, of course, in these street circuits. And then we'll try to squeeze under here. There we go. Can we pull off no contact race in here at Berlin? That would be uh, an achievement in itself. We've actually had challenges like that in the past in certain events where you're not supposed to make any contact with opponents or really a wall or anything, any barriers like that at all. So, um, yeah. Oh, be careful. Right, so P4, of course, uh, further up we go in the grid, thinner the traffic, which makes it easier to keep things clean. So considering that I've made it so far without making any contact with um, really anything, right? Um, I feel like I should try to go for the perfect race no penalty taken off since uh, really shouldn't be going off track at all whatsoever on this circuit alright so just down to JKR in the front Chasing down the leader here. Inside of that white lane, white line, 
I wonder would be considered, uh, or if I step outside of that white line, if that would be considered off track though. Because then, obviously I've gone over in those uh, curves, the final curve. We'll see. Doesn't seem like it should be considered off, uh, you know, off track. But, uh, you know, game can be kind of funny with those at times. Give me the space, give me the space. There we go. Oh, this guy's close. But now we're in the lead. So time to bring it on home, like right here. That, would that be considered off track? It shouldn't be, right? I mean... All right, lap four, two more laps to go. A couple of blind corners. Uh, blind corner, that is when you're racing in the chase view. If you drive in, like these street circuits, it's much easier, I think, if you drive, if you race in the hood view. Um, I wouldn't really recommend bumper view, just because that one just uh, hard to gauge the, the sort of the width of your own of the car that we're racing ourselves but at least in the hood view or bonnet view you can see the width of the car so you know whether you have the proper clearance through some tight space right and the cockpit view while it's you know pretty cool looking play mode it is uh there's a lot of um uh, visual impedances right Things that are uh, cool looking but has nothing to do with the actual uh, racing that you need to be aware of that uh, for the most part that uh, it's a little harder to you know race clean in the cockpit view or the pilot view and the uh, chase view is your you know cameras behind it's not always easy to see where uh, the nose of the car is headed. Especially when you're making the corner, because you're looking at it from behind. Alright. Oh, don't make the contact. We almost made it perfect to this point. Through the final corner, and we're homebound free. There we go. Did we pull off a perfect race? I guess we'll find out. Clean race bonus. Ah, uh, collision. I must made a tiny contact at that uh, last bit. I don't think I made any other contact throughout the race. Maybe I did uh, earlier on. But uh, well, at least we know in the final corner, if you go sort of have a wheel step out of the white line it's still considered on track as it should be right i mean all right not that it's that useful of an information in that sense for actual racing you know none of it really matters because uh it's not gonna be like you're you know trying to cut that any closer in time trials because if you hit a barrier in time trial you know you're the, it's not valid so or you get the penalty right all right so best lap minute one zero zero one a total lap time uh total race time of just under five minutes 30 seconds and we got plenty of service bars still left thanks to the car being fully upgraded and uh, no i wasn't able to get through the entire event while the 24 hours of instant service offer was available because, uh, you know, life. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and collect our final prize, which consists of 
in my case, 2,000 victory points, 15 gold, 100,000 racing dollars, as I've covered earlier. And the 2,000 victory points is gonna get me to the next victory point reward, which is uh, one of the custom rims, the BBS CI-R. So that's kind of fun. Uh, continue. There we go. <laughs> Took a little while. All right, and that should get me even closer to completing, uh, what do you call that? Uh, winning the grand prize from the current version, Audi RS3. Yeah, I am at 36,000. I only need 1,500 to get me up to the prize car. So um, I'm kind of in the middle of Silver Tour flashback once again, a car that I already own uh, and fully upgraded. So one should be relatively easy to pick up a few, uh, yeah, um, extra victory points, which should allow me to complete the, you know, win the big prize car from the round eight. But anyway, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.